commentated a grand finals with Sonic Fox at Evo. Wow. Well, I didn't even think about this that. 2018, 2019, 2020 didn't happen, obviously. And now in 2021, three straight years, you and I are commentating a Sonic Fox grand finals at Evo. That's how you know they're good. But here we go. Grand finals, Guilty Gear Strive, Evo Online 2021 grand finals. Hotashi versus Sonic Fox, Nago Ryuki going up against Leo White Fang. Let's get into it. And they letting the intros rock? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm absurdly strong. Dang, the flex at the very beginning. And the funny thing is, I don't think a lot of Leo players love this matchup. Nah, I, I mean, gotta be honest. It's it can definitely get pretty dicey. I can tell you that speaking from experience, but here we go. So it's going to be really interesting to see a lot of damage, a lot of big explosive moments, and it starts just like this. You know, this is just the way it is. Into the corner already. Hotashi does not overpress, right? Just says, okay, I'm going to respect the uppercut, and then I love the burst. Just says, please, <laughs> don't let it start. Please back away from me. Backdash on the H. Still mm -hmm. gets caught, though. Oh, wow, wall splash. Super, this is going to hurt. Yeah, and we see that Hotashi loves backdash on defense, right? We've seen it a ton already so far, and that was a backdash in the corner that got Hotashi caught. <gasps> Didn't get the anti-air, wow. yeah. I, I wonder what he tried. Maybe 6P or close slash, probably, to try to get the uh, anti-air on the jump dust. The way Sonic is using this air dust, really a fan of RC to keep the combos going. Speaking of which, of the combo. Nago with the pressure baits out the flash kick. Burst is still there though. Wow, that Ooh, I like that like combo it. route. Yeah, Hotashi did 6H, 6H because, you know, he's like, I'm not going to spend any blood. This is going to be pretty hard to burst. What an air throw. Mm. That's the Guilty Gear mm. player right there. Oh. Mm. Wow, the burst, the hero burst from Sonic Fox. And just waiting. Just waiting right there. Gets opened up. No meter, but stuck in this corner. This could be bad. Oh, this could be real bad. The way Hashi, maybe. No, oh, too late. The too slowdown. Late. Oh, yeah. you smoke. Oh, no. Oh, alive. Still alive. Still alive. Still alive. A little bit of life. The mix up situation. The wake up throw. The slowdown made it so Hotashi's move came out too fast and then got mm -hmm. hit by the shield because of it. it you, you messed. You did it to yourself. That's the problem. Takes the OP. Oh, this oh. is bad. Oh, that was scary. Oh, my gosh. That was scary. The 2S trade with the 2K. Wow. Ooh, burst available. OTG 6H chip is, yeah, it doesn't even matter. Chip was an issue. Life was an issue. There's not a lot of spaces to go. And that's what can happen in this matchup, right? Like, the way Nagoryuki structures his pressure is, like, button, Fukio away. And, like, for a character like Leo, where you yeah. want to flash kick out and stuff, it's, it's kind of hard for him to poke or contest or do something to move himself in a, a position where he can kind of fight back against that. And you can see Hotashi just really playing a very controlled, tight corner game because of it. No, that uh, you're a hundred percent correct on that. Just the way that, like, even Hotashi waiting at the end there didn't really want to over overstep, right? So I understand that. But just knowing that, yo, I have the life lead. Like, I'd have to make a lot of mistakes mm -hmm. to get, like, you know, to lose this round. And really, just being able to make sure that Sonic doesn't get in the range to get anything started. Like you said, you want to throw fireballs, right? You really want to throw fireballs. But just controlling that ground game. Fukio is really going to scare you a lot of instances as well. And you definitely can't get clipped by some of these normals if you throw out the wrong fireball up close. So I understand the back and forth, but Sonic taking that first game, uh, excuse me, Hotashi taking that first game away from Sonic. Yeah, and the bite too, obviously, is, you know, does a lot of damage. It beats the flash kick if you go for it. It's really hard to deal with. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? Hotashi with meter, BRC is back. Sonic with the flash kick, but obviously Hotashi has burst if he gets hit. So, you know, this is the start, but he needs more. Okay, wow, well, that, that was a great challenge. That was, that was yeah. brave. Yeah, that could have been your life, That right? definitely could have been your life. You definitely could have died right there. Yeah. Like, Leo, he, he just needs more speed, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, Nagoryuki really doesn't allow for it. All right, they choose the RC here. I, I think the risk is a little crank. A little bit. That's a lot. A you little. Get, you get clipped right there. It's going to be pain. Oh, wow. Try to wait for the burst. Oh, I'm Ooh. surprised there was no burst right there. Yeah, it seems like Otashi was kind of committed to the idea that, like, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait, see if Sonic's going to bait mm. it again. Beyblade just beats the fireball. That's a lot of blood, though. Oh, oh wow. Gets the close S2H. 
Instant goes for the back turn, cancel. They oh go through my. each other because of the Berserker Slash and the Blade Blade. Oh my god. Ships passing in the ninth to Jump Age. And again, you saw the Fukio back in the other position because Watashi was looking for the burst. Back dash on Wake Up from Sonic. Mm, wow, the 6 the back hits. Tries the Blade Blade through again. It's not going to work. 5k to answer. Stepped on his Jays. Tries to bait out the burst. Finally gets it. Sonic Fox. Well, the pop, though. It's so close to pop. Oh, blood. It's a pixel of blood. Just a drop. All that for one drop of blood, and now Sonic oh, backs man. up. For a drop of blood. Remember how I said the wrong fireball will get you hit by a Nago normal, and that's exactly what we just saw. Even that big one is susceptible to it. Ooh, this is a, sl a slug fest that is not going Hotashi's way. He's lost so much life. Jump in already. It's the command throw. Sonic in a bad spot. That is humongous. Oh, missed the 6H. Didn't go for the 5k or anything. Catches the jump Ooh. back. Fukio's back. This pressure is really, really rough to deal with. And Hotashi has so much meter. Oh, gets oh. the hit with the Berserker. Oh, okay. You're going to be able to get a confirm here. This is going to be big damage. Spend some meter. Yep. And now you have all this bar as Hotashi on defense here. Super is a big threat. Yeah. Back super RC is a huge threat. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the super right through. That mm -hmm. was so smart. That was so smart. It was like, do it. I just, I dare you. I double dare you. Do okay. your super and RC or whatever. I'm going to tell you right now. You see so many people get hit by, like, wake up. Nago Super uh, has a lot of range. Even if it doesn't get the clean hit, you can still get like a little mini combo. You can get 2S sometimes. Sometimes you can get 6H. Just depends on the hit. And what a call out to answer back with Super to uh, contest the Nago Super. And get the kill on top of that. Nothing extra needed. Still got the wall break. Would have had the meter bonus, the positive bonus as well. I like that option. It's funny because like in that situation, you think, okay. If I do Super and RC, I'm completely safe, right? Like, this is such a safe option. Like, I'll just be fine. And then Sonic just walks up, and they're like, yeah, do it. They were just, like, so ready, right, for that situation, which is really, really impressive. Early double Beyblade there from Hotashi trying to get confirmed. That is a lot of blood. Actually, yeah. I think maybe a little too much. The pop. A drop again. How? How is it always a drop? thing is, oh, wow, this is going to hurt. Hotachi really likes to operate with the buff normal, right? Like, really loves having, you know, that extra range. But it's not going to work out here. Meter on the table. Sonic Fox takes the first round of game number three again. Remember, Sonic Fox needs to reset if, if, hope to win. Yeah, and I mean, you can start to feel the shift. I think in the beginning of this set, right, Hotachi looked really strong and just you know the way Hotashi was playing was excellent now you can start to see the cracks right like it's starting to be like uh-oh yeah uh-oh this game is very close to being 2-1 sonic oh, already although eight. that's a big big, big swing oh. 5k gets the splash and then 6h to get the wall break it goes right into Rekka. i like the option meter on the side of sonic fox gonna spend it no takes does, the does next Hitachi hit super? wants to kill baits out the burst on top of it 6k rc tries to get through yellow rc to stop the pressure on the berserker backs up and now the game is about to be played close as sonic looking for the air throw hotashi keeping the ground game hits him with the close s and hit him with the fake little shimmy movement like he was about to jump up there too that's the fake out right in this game when you try to air throw in those situations you are counter hit recovery and the other person can you know go for a punish on that Hotashi looking for the burst, doesn't see it, so just goes Fukio back in, gets the command throw, the BSU, which is huge. That, ooh, that DP hit, but non-counter hit, so, you know, hard to confirm off that back Fukio again. Oh, instant block right there. Wow, and that 2K almost got whiff punished with the 2S from Naga. Ooh, Sonic jumps back and kind of gives the corner position to Hotashi. Speaking of jumping back, the back dash 5k confirm in the super and catch the vibe though. How is Hotashi so consistent about escaping with back dash and then finding like little hits or confirms? Like every time Hotashi back dashes, if it doesn't immediately get hit, the situation just goes his way immediately. It's like, oh, I get a whiff punish. Oh, I get a throw into the corner. Oh, I get that. It's like just a little step. And then he's just like, oh, now it's my turn. And then you just explode. And you're like, what just happened? It's the momentum. Like, Nagaroyuki is explained on the character select screen as a one-shot character. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, the way Hotashi is playing this character, one shot it feels like. 
instantly takes his blood gauge up to level three and it's right there out of range and i've talked about this on my stream before some nagos just like they will instantly spend all their blood gauge to get mm -hmm. to level two level three get that extra range and then make you play the game that's how some nagos like to play and some don't think it's wise right some will just rather you know take the slow and steady game but if you get that game started early like his name says it's the one shot yeah, and I think, you know, we were talking about how the last game was looking kind of dire for Hotashi. The composure to keep it together was mm -hmm. very impressive. Wake up backdash on the second uh, blood sucking universe. Sonic just ready for it. Meter. This OTG super wall break. That is so useful. Mm -hmm. Got the positive bonus and go straight for the Berserker slash Sonic. Taking this first round game number four. Okay, I like the slowdown at round start. Hotashi has been Beyblading a lot, and Sonic's been stuffing it, so I, I like that we see the adaptation from Hotashi. Great backdash. 5k to answer whatever Sonic was doing on recovery. Fukio to get in. 2k, 2d with punish, and now Sonic's on. Oh, wow, what a switch. 5k to answer. Here comes Hotashi. Look at this combo to the other side. Pop, though. So close up. A drop. A drop of blood is all it's going to take the back throw again. Hotashi let that gauge go down. The PRC kind of had the block, though. Didn't have a lot of great options. Maybe only back after something. counter hit. Dash through. Gets him with the H once again. This is not looking good. Meter on the table. I'm not sure if this is going to kill. Right. No, not quite. Okay, still a chance right now. Sonic Fox can try to set two to six H. Probably try to jump four, possibly. 6H covers a lot of, of the screen. It's, I don't think it's as fast as it used to be, but still a good tool. Because I know a lot of people, they like to hesitate in the neutral game versus Leo, right? They're like, well, look, he's probably going to dash up. I can look to see if he's going to do Berserker. If you just do 6H, you can still special cancel it as well. You can cancel it in the fireball if you read it. So not a bad choice. Not a bad choice at all. Sonic Fox staying alive. Ties the set on this Grand Finals 2-2, but needs to reset. Needs to reset if the chance of winning this EVO is still what they want to do. Yeah, and it was such a good position too because, you know, we saw Wake Up Super from Hotashi before and it was countered immediately. So yeah, it's pretty unlikely you're going to just try it again, like kind of out of nowhere, right? And Sonic just, 6H just says, don't move. You're just going to sit mm -hmm. there. You're going to deal with this pressure. No backdashing, no jumps, nothing like that. So two apiece and... You know, it's always the case, but I feel like really against a player like Sonic Fox, you cannot let this reset, right? You really, you got to harness everything and just shut it down right now. You cannot let this go to another set where Sonic Fox can get momentum even more and just look better and better and better. So they, they need to be stopped now if you're Hotashi, right? You really got to compose for this last game and try to like, you know, put it all in, the, in together and then just slow things down unless you're on offense it is very difficult to do though against someone like sonic we've seen nobody else even get like games or look at nearly as solid against sonic fox so far as hotashi has no that's definitely true uh sonic sonic has been holding out very very well especially coming to this loser side very mm -hmm. early uh in the bracket hotashi really really just playing super smart as himself playing all the way through keep staying First off, just staying on the winner's side of a bracket like this is one of mm -hmm. the toughest things that you could ever do, especially considering how many tournaments, how much experience these people have so far, right? So it's this is a great back and forth. Once again, gets caught by the Beyblade. You need to be careful. My man wakes up and was like, yo, Leo was like, I don't care. Not no, my man, you don't, you can't stop me. <laughs> that's what you have to do sometimes, right? Like the thing is, Sonic Fox is known for being wily on defense, but if you never flash kick, right? Like, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. Look at the anti-air five P's from Hokashi's BSU whiff. Just built that second gauge wow. of blood. Counter Ooh, tried to bait it. This is a great space. Hokashi, cool. yeah. Not much you can do at that range. And look at this. Evo point for Hotashi. Can he close it out here after a really strong, just controlled round counter hit Beyblade to start? This is huge. Into the corner, no wall break. DP or not, the flash no. kick is baited. Burst on the Six table, H. but no chance. Oh, There's no straight, chance to burst. Straight for the super right now. This is not good. Gonna break the wall. Sonic Fox is in a lot of trouble. Hotashi on the verge of being our Evo online in a chance. Command throw kill? Tries to bait it, looking for the blood. Sonic solid on defense. The stagger low. Oh wow! Hotashi with open. the burst. Hotashi also has meter too. You have to be careful here about that. Looking for the Beyblade. The Fugio backdash. Had the chance. How did it work? That was it. 
if he could have just hit the back dash, but now they have a chance. Sonic Fox with offense here has to be just the back dash from Hoshi all tournament long, all the way to being your Evo champion here for Guilty Gear 